Yo, what's up, everybody? Good morning. 4 19 a.m. Let's just round up and call it 4 20. <laughs> um, we're going to do a call review. A little piff I got yesterday. So, quick update on the offer that I'm on. I started sending out a pre frame video to my leads. All right. Company didn't say I was allowed to do this, but I was sick of people jumping on and not knowing that this is a sales call. So I'm like, hey, on this call, there's three things we're gonna discuss. We're gonna come up with a plan to get you from where you're at right now to your goals. We're gonna see what's missing, what's broken. We're gonna see what's working now. And if we can help, we'll talk about what that would look like. So the only thing I need from you are three things. Number one, awareness that you have a problem. If everything was great in your business, you wouldn't be signing up for anything like this. Right. So can we agree beforehand that you have a problem in your business? You're not where you want to be. If that's if that's true, you have awareness of you have a problem. Great. Number two, I need the next thing for you is wanting to change that problem, wanting to fix it, not just showing up to this call looking for cool information. All right. And number three, willingness to get help. And assuming everything makes sense, willing to commit financially to fix that problem and, and do it faster. Not saying that I'm going to hard close you or anything, but I will make you an offer. I don't want this to seem like it's a bait and switch thing. Like this is a, this is our business model. Okay. But here, like just for context, if you, if you don't know, the offer that I'm on, they buy a $97 thing. They jump on. Our call is framed as like an onboarding call. And then I'm trying to like upsell them. So the framing was completely fucked. And since I sent that video out, uh, this is the second day of sending it out now. I've uh, gotten two sales. Whereas before, I would make like fucking, I would have, so, okay, so the company is accepting a 10% close rate. Last week, they had a, a company overall, they had a 7.2% close rate. And they were happy with that. And I'm like, this, this is horrible. Like, it's killing me. It's killing me. Okay, so let's, without further yapping, let me uh, let me share my screen. Let me share my sound. We're gonna go right into this. Share sound. Bam. All right. Here we go. By the way, I closed this woman by essentially talking about the globalists for a while. I'll probably cut that out because YouTube is like part of the globalist coalition. So we'll just cut that part out. If you're like, what are who are the globalists? All right, we got we're on the wrong channel. Liz Greenfield in the room. I just drank a bunch of protein powder. Anyway. Jesus Christ. She wants to make a million dollars in her health coaching business. She needs some help with marketing. Who else is better than us than to help? So I'm going to figure out what are their constraints, what's working, what's not. Build out a plan. Say, hey, do you want some help with this? Make her an offer. Close her down. Guess what? A little pre-call priming. This is exactly what I did in the call. Isn't that amazing? You'll see. Let's go. Let me uh, speed this up a little bit. Hey, Liz. Good morning. How are you? Hey, I am doing pretty good. Okay. It's super windy, so hopefully it's not really loud. I can't <laughs> actually hear that at all. Oh, awesome. Where in the, uh, the world are you? I'm in San Jose, California. Okay. We're like opposite ends of the continent. I'm up in the east, the east coast of Canada. So. Oh, wow. Anyway. Yeah. A bit colder than you, I guess, but <laughs> I think yeah. so. Yeah. Well, nice to connect. I'm Ben, one of Rudy's uh, success coaches. So this call is pretty simple. Really just wanted to do two things. Number one, make sure that your, your done a few ads are all squared away. And then number two, this is like the big picture strategy call. So we like to have a conversation about your business and just looking for the areas where we can just help the ads perform better and help scale you up. Okay. Sound good? Great. Cool. So you should have gotten a Google form for the, the done for you ads. Did you get a chance to, I could just skip through this piece. Not really relevant. Let out, do you know? I did, and I sent it back. Okay. Uh, I, think. Either, I know I filled out one form that had the option to share like a Google Drive link yeah. with logos and stuff like that. Was Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I can. This is an alternative approach to healthcare. It really helps people who have been. Um, and so I really need client leads for that. My business, as it stands, is totally um, referral based and it's mm. doing okay. But I have a, a real vision for what I want this to be. Like when I was watching the videos that came with this training, that that's really spoke to me. Like I want to help as many people as I can. This is an alternative approach to healthcare. 
it really helps people who have been suffering for a long time because I use advanced labs to, you know, help people understand the root cause of their illness. So like women with IBS, hormone oh, nice. issues and stuff like that, that they've had all kinds of tests done already. And they just get told that they're fine. They're normal. It's in their head, whatever else. Yeah, um, I run all the advanced labs on these folks that show like what's happening in the gut microbiome and, uh, you know, with hormones throughout the day versus. A okay. So for context, I speak to some people that have, let's just say, uh, bullshit businesses, <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh man, I don't even know if I want to sell this person because their business is so stupid. It's like a dumb drop shipping store. Like people just selling the dumbest stuff. So when I talk to somebody who actually has like a real business, they do a real thing and they, their business model is something that I understand already. In my mind, my certainty goes up that much more. All right. So here's the first thing in sales, which nobody will tell you is that you have to be sold on them first. They don't, they, it's not you selling them. You got to sell yourself. Okay. This is a person that we can help for sure. So half of the time I'm asking questions, I'm selling myself. Okay, this is a person that I can really help. So when I go to make that pitch, when I go to swing the ball and go for the home run, I'm really swinging that motherfucker because I really believe in it. In time. So I, I actually feel re really good about my offering and people do well with it, but I need help getting it out there that that I'm there and what I that do. you exist. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so until now, have you tried any ads or is this the first time? I really haven't like I've boosted posts and you know I did I did so our sales managers like oh just start with like big picture stuff like you want to make a million dollars per year what's the plan to do that I still like to start off with situational questions well have you tried ads before okay da, da, da. what do you do for work okay what do you charge what's the price at all right and what would you say is like going into the problem from there it, it's 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 uh it's not that it's right or wrong, but it's just more my style. Go through a company called Functional Medicine Fast Track that helps functional medicine practitioners. Next thing, she's just telling me, I went through this company. I'm like, okay, she's a buyer. This is good. She had a marketing guy. I'm going to dig into that a bit to see what did she like about it? What did she not like? It's kind of get a basic understanding of what they need to do for marketing. So, you know, I've done some stuff. I've done a lot of posting and grown like a little bit of a following. I've started a YouTube channel. I yeah. posted posts. But I've never otherwise like done an ad campaign. Oh, okay. So that company, the Functional Medicine Fast Track, did they just help you with organic marketing then? Or... Uh, if you mean just putting out like content, like free stuff, yeah, content. Yeah. Okay. Did it help? Um, you know, I've never really acquired a client who was a stranger uh, based on doing that kind of stuff. But you know, people who I kind of knew or who were friends or friends of people who had gone through my programs followed me online and then probably followed up with me based on what they saw me posting online. Okay. So like it helped a little bit, but I want, I want to reach the masses. Like I really want to grow a huge business where I'm hiring other practitioners to do the work. Okay. First thing that you're looking for in either the goal section or the problem section is you want a really big goal with a really clear vision attached to that goal and a big why. If you have that, oftentimes you can make an offer and close the deal just based on that. Or a really painful problem where if they don't fix it, you know, like they have negative consequences and they really want out of it. When I was appointment setting, I always look for one or one or the other. You don't really need to go into both. Although you, you still want to, but um, like what she's saying right now, in my mind, it's it's checking off the goal section. So I, I don't really dig too much further into it. What I'm doing now. Yeah. Gotcha. Amazing. What does that, when you say grow a huge business, like what does that mean specifically? Like, But you still want to get specifics, right? Even though she said in her form, she wants to make a million dollars. I want her to tell me. Like, I've worked in hospitals for 25 years and I just don't agree with what they're doing in there anymore. I don't think it's... Although she goes off on a tangent right now. She doesn't answer my question. Serving the population, this medical model that we have, the pharma industrial complex is not serving yeah. people. So I want to be able to give, I mean, it is expensive what I do, but I'd like to offer as many people who want that kind of um, approach to their healthcare concerns or even just optimizing like athletes. Like I really want people mm -hmm. to know my name and I want a lot of people to come to me for 
the, what I do, the, the program yeah. approach to health and wellness. It's needed, you know, we're, we live in a sick society. Um, when you say expensive, like what do your programs range from? It's 5,000 for 16 weeks and then the labs cost extra and people do. So they like, yes, finally, someone with a high ticket program. Yes. I, I know in my mind now that her program costs five grand. Like our base program costs five grand. She, she literally needs to have one sale and it pays for itself. So I'm like writing that down in my back pocket. I'm like, okay, great. Price justification right there. Do you think you can get one more sale if you work with us? If she came up with some if weird excuse, like it's too expensive. Other thing that I have is a supplement store. And I love my supplement store. I love my supplements. I think, you know, 25% of what's out there on the market doesn't even contain the active ingredient in it because there's, there's no FDA regulation of supplements. So there's that, that shit's crazy. Literally no one checking. Really? To see what, yeah. Any supplement that wow. you buy on Amazon or anyone else could be just full of heavy metals and contaminated crap because like the FDA doesn't regulate it. I'm not a huge pro FDA, That's crazy. Person, but yeah. So my supplement store, like I've really taken a lot of time and care populating it with products that people don't have to do the research on. They can just trust that what is in that bottle is exactly what it says it, it is and what it's going to do. But I have zero traffic in my supplement store and that could be a huge source of income for me all by itself. Yeah. So, I mean, the supplement market in general is so freaking big. Yeah. You know, these companies just throw up a, a website and they run some ads to it and you just be good at marketing and then next thing you know, they're bajillionaire so it's true fucking supplements are the craziest market man do you know how many people are just doing like eight million dollars like a day in supplements it's crazy um, That's the thing. but i'm actually certified in functional medicine like i know what these do i'm happy to do supplement i love doing supplement protocols for people i have like my own box that the company that i work with made for me so things come out like in peel packs kind of with the client's name on it and i can customize what goes inside the box for them so it's just like a you know rip off your morning supplement and pack and go kind of thing. Huh, cool. Okay. So we have a, a good priced program that we want to get leads for. And we have the supplement store, which is basically sitting idle, but there's a lot of value there. I think if yeah. the right people saw it and they, they knew what the differences were of, of like what your supplements versus, you know, GNC or Amazon or whatever, whatever else yeah. they were buying, you know, uh, that's amazing. And so with, with your process like have you i don't know like I, I know you said you worked with that functional medicine fast track company like have you tried to i don't know maybe hire a, a marketing agent so yeah i'm at the part of the call where i'm trying to figure out what has she tried how did it work do you have any marketing people up until now or what, what what makes you want to like run ads now i guess yeah why now i want some urgency I think because I quit, you know, I've, I was an advanced practice nurse. I was giving anesthesia for a living and I, I quit my hospital job. <laughs> oh, really? be... Quit a job. That could be good or bad. Usually when people quit their jobs, they have like a, a, a nest egg or they have savings. They're not crazy like me. When I quit my job, I had no, I was just like, fuck it, I quit. And I'm just going to figure it out. But most people are smarter than me. And, uh, they have money saved up just Six recently weeks ago. Yeah. Because I really want to do my business. It's what I believe in. And I know other practitioners have grown huge businesses doing the same thing that I'm doing and I know I can do it, but it's been, a, you know, I'm not a business person per se. I've just, right. you know, I know what I know about functional medicine and healthcare and stuff like that, but I, I'm kind of inching my way along the marketing side of this. <clears throat> yeah. So just trying to like fast track the, the whole marketing piece and then do what you do best, just help people. Exactly. Okay. Makes sense to me. So you kind of went all in. <laughs> I was looking at your website. It looks good. So, all right. So if I have no idea who, who is Liz Greenfield and I come to this website, I was clicking around, like, I mean, what are we hoping they do? They hit join now. So the, I will tell you that in, in this moment, the website is being redone so that it'll be a little bit easier to kind of navigate. Like my supplement store is in there embedded in there. Yeah. Both, I have private label products that I do, which ultimately can be sold in the bigger store, which would be my long-term goal, but I don't have volume mm. for that. Yet. So, you know, ultimately what I want someone to be able to do is look at the website. It's going to be a lot more concise. I want them to decide that this is what they want to do, which a lot of people do, but then they obviously need to talk to me first. They're not going to just put 5,000 on a credit card on the website. Right. 
yeah, unless you were like a celebrity already and they just totally trusted you and you know you're like a recommended by Oprah or something. <laughs> Until Some we get there. Like I'm moving in that direction, but yeah. as of now, they I'm sure they're gonna want to have that. I'm in like the problem finding slash kind of like doubt part of the call, building up some like reasons why I should might need more help. On call with me and I'm pretty good at selling it on the phone. I would say like four out of five people I talk to sign up for the program. Which is crazy. That's awesome. Wow. Um, okay, but so we just need to fill up your calendar with people. Yeah. They're desperate by the time they get to me. And I'm really like, I believe in what it is. So I can sell it pretty easily. I just need to get it out there. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. So me, the marketing bees, marketing, fill up your calendar with client leads. And then once, once they're on the phone, you're pretty good at selling. And then, you know, it's just, how do we fill up your funnel? Yeah. One problem that I have had is that sometimes, you know, I'm because I can sell it pretty easily. Sometimes people do have buyer's remorse and they want to change their minds the next day. Hmm. How do you deal with that? I tend to just let them go and give them a refund because I found, have found that clients who are not a hundred percent sure that this is what they want to do are very problematic to work. A bit of free sauce coming up. With, and we work very closely for 16 weeks. So, you know, I might try a little bit to yeah. tell them why I think they should continue to move forwards, but I, I don't push that particularly hard. Hmm. Does that happen out of 10 times? How often does that happen? I would say maybe once or twice. Hmm. Okay. So maybe they're like not fully educated on your service before they jump on the call with you. So they don't really know what they're buying. Is you say maybe that's why, or is there another reason? I think it's a, it's a heavy financial investment. And I think when I signed up for the functional medicine fast track program, that was also extremely expensive. And I, I know what they're going. This is good data. I'm about to get when she says extremely expensive. I'm like, well, how much was it? If you guys just don't, if you guys like sweep these questions under the rug, they'll always come back to bite you in the end. True, because I did the same thing. I called back and said, no, I changed my mind. I don't want to do it. How much was that? It was like around 17,000. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not a small investment. Okay. Gotcha. Um, okay. So in my mind, if we're going to be running ads, we have to get a clear path for them to go from ad to you know, giving you their information to booking a call, to jumping on a call, to, to buying. And then yep. once you're a customer, maybe we can sell them supplements or more programs or, or whatever, but we have to figure out what is that path, right? Yeah. And so I know you said that the website's going to be overhauled because right now there's like, there's just a lot of the different things that they can click on. And we really want to focus. Like when I go to your programs, one of the biggest things that I see is like, there's kind of like too many options. I hit join now. It's like, oh, you can do meetings of the mind. But right now, I get into a problem on my calls where I start coaching people. But right now, I've, I made a, a, a conscious decision to highlight problem areas and say, oh, like, there's too many things here. Oh, like, you know, like, telling them more so the problem, but not exactly how to fix it. You can do this call for, it's like, why is the meeting of the minds for 60 minutes and it's free? The follow-up session's 175. This one's 250. There's a 50 minute thing. There's a 60 minute thing. There's a 30 minute thing. So it's just like a, a lot. Like, I think we need to narrow it down. So that's in the back end of my platform that I use to actually see clients, but I could book the discovery call a different way. It doesn't have to be set up in there. I could book it through something else so that it's more streamlined. And once they're clients, they know what, for the most part, they know what they're looking for. And they have an email that says, please book yeah. this type of appointment this week. But it, I can easily understand why it would confuse someone who is just navigating through the website to see those choices. Yeah, we just want to give them like one, like a simple path, just it's just like one one action per page, right? If they're going to click on it, or else they'll just kind of get overwhelmed and someone who's confused doesn't buy it. That's true. So that's one thing. Do you send them any like a video or anything before you jump on the call with them that kind of like walks them through what you do and how it works and maybe because no. it's a case study? Uh -uh. Okay. Like a, a type of homework. I call them homework videos, something that it educates them before they jump on the call. Maybe even pre-frames them a bit where they're not just jumping on to get some information, but they're like, they're coming on to solve a problem and like they're ready to invest if it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. That's a great idea. Yeah. And then in terms of the buyer's remorse, just as a tip, I would just say, Hey, at the, once someone says, okay, here's my credit card, you know, these are probably a very emotional sale, right? 
It can be. I take their credit card number over the phone, like when they are excited and they hear what I do and they really feel like, yes, this is what I yeah. need. I need advanced labs. I need all this extra stuff. I take their credit card right then and there and sign them up for their program over the phone. Sure. But you should. I think um, this, there's like two little questions that you can ask somebody um, right after they buy while they're still on the phone with you. It's like, hey, well, why did you decide to do this now versus put this off? And like, why do you feel like this will work for you? Like, or like, what are you most excited about? And then why do you, why did you decide to do, to do this now? And usually those two little questions reinforces their decision. Okay. It, it actually lowers your buyer's remorse by like 50%. Okay. Just a little tip. Sure. For you. After every single time you make a sale, you say, hey, what are you most excited about? Let them talk. Amazing. And why did you decide to do this now versus just put this off? That could be a harder question to ask because you're like, oh man, I don't want them to be like, oh, you know what? You're right. I don't want to do this. But when they justify it, usually they'll justify it and they'll give you an answer. They'll come up with it. Oh, well, because like, I really want this and that and this and that. Awesome. Because uh, like we, we help a lot of different people selling higher ticket stuff, health coaches, business coaches, all kinds of businesses. Well, I'm not sure how much you know about Rudy, but like he had his own seven figure, like kind of like a fitness brand before he started this. So he's like grown like multiple businesses to 70 figures. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool working with a lot of celebrities and stuff now. And um, I watched his videos. It was really inspiring. I really feel like I can do this if I put my mind to it. Yeah, a hundred percent. Of course, again, it's just a matter of um, what are the missing pieces in your skill set right now to grow this. And, you know, in this call, you know, like she's very open. She's very friendly. She's very um, like compliant. Like she's like, oh my God, yeah, that's a great idea. That's so smart. Yeah, yep. Yeah, this, there are people that jump on the way skeptical. I'm like, hey, what are your, they're, they're talking, they come to us because they want to run ads. I'm like, well, what are your budget for running ads? And they'll be like, I don't want to tell you my budget. I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, well, you'll use that to sell me. I'm like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? He's like, going to, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's like going to, I don't know, book a plane ticket. And then they're like, well, where do you want to go? And you're like, I don't want to tell you that. What do you mean? Well, you'll sell me a plane ticket. <laughs> like, what? How am I supposed to get you where you want to go if I don't know where the fuck you want to go and what you have to get there? Yeah, 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 whatever. How much is it? <laughs> like, what? People come on like that. But this girl has been like, she's just way open, which is really nice. I think marketing is probably up there. Like, one thing Rudy says, it's like anyone can just create an ad, right? You can go and chat GPT. So one thing I'm, I try to do now is just build up a bit of, um, I would say I would... I try to, what's the word? Build up the authority of Rudy and, and his experience, his track record before going into what we do. Because a lot of people just don't really know what he does, what we're all about. And Rudy's like grown seven companies to like seven figures. And he manages like 300 clients and he's he knows all these celebrities. And he's just like a, he's like a pretty big deal in the marketing space. And I was neglecting that on my other calls. Say, make me an ad. Like, write me an ad for functional medicine. And it might be good. So right now I'm trying to um, get her to understand that her buying our $97 free ad course thingy is not this the like the magical solution. But it might not. Let me uh, like back this up a bit. There are like one thing Rudy says, it's like anyone can just create an ad, right? You can go and chat GPT and say, hey, make me an ad. Like, write me an ad for functional medicine. And it might be good, it might not, right? Like the, the thing that really makes ads work do well is the psychology behind them, like the hooks, the marketing angles, how you're separating yourself from other people that are offering the same thing, mm -hmm. right? Because we, it's one thing getting referrals because people already kind of trust you. Like, oh my God, you got to work with Liz. She saved my life. That person's way warmer to you than someone who's just saw an ad and has no idea who you are. And now we're asking them to jump on the phone and buy like a five thousand dollar thing, right? So we have to, we have to like, yeah, we we have to have a really good marketing process and a really good like I would call it like a pre sale process to to warm them up before they they book that call. Okay. So do the video was so. This is a lot of what not how, right? 
you got to warm them up. You got to pre-sell them. You got to do a video. She's like, okay, this is like good information. Like, you know, the, it's like feeding like that part of your brain where like, okay, this is really helpful, but there's still the, the, the question of how do I do it? One of your recommendations. How do you put it all together? Hey, your funnel has too many options. We got to, we got to narrow it down. Hey, it's not just the ad. It's about the psychology. It's about the hooks. It's about this. It's about that. You're like, okay, yeah, this is really useful, right? But I'm not saying here's how you do it. You got to write it like this. You say this, you say this, you do this, just do this. If if I did that, she'd be like, okay, great. Now I know what to do. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for that. Yeah, 100%. Anything you can do to, like, to share your process, a little bit about you, maybe some testimonials or case studies if you have them in that one video. Yep. Yeah. So this is like actually like maybe a bit too much of like what to do, but whatever. And then it's just about cranking the marketing. Like we want to figure out with the ads, you know, the targeting piece and then the message. So like out of all the different problems you can help people solve, like which ones are going to be the ones that are going to be like the winners. So someone who wants to fix their IBS maybe, or is it another thing? There's probably like a lot of different like buckets that your ideal clients would fall into. Like I'm sure you would know better than me. Yeah, they tend to fall into the IBS, but they also have anxiety and depression and hormone issues. They're middle-aged, they're women, they're 35 to 55, they're master's degree educated. Wait, 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 35 is middle age? <laughs> no, you bitch. Don't tell me that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's young, it's young, middle-aged. Um, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, damn it. Uh, a little humor in your sales process never hurt, you know, at certain part points. I'm anyway. way older than you, so... <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, and they make $150,000 a year or more that that's, that's who, who buys this stuff based on the research. <laughs> and okay. I think that oh. works for me because they've really had every test known to man and they have no answer. And mm -hmm. I've helped these people before and I know I can help them. So I feel like that's, that's a good niche for me. Yeah. So once we like create these three ads, I mean, do you feel like going forward, you would kind of know how to run the ads yourself and how to like scale them up, you know, and how to test them and track the data. And so I just want to see what happens. I mean, I don't, I'm not a hundred percent invested in Facebook ads. I was against Facebook for a really long time. Um, how come <laughs> instant red flag, if we're going to help her with writ with uh, Facebook ads. So obviously I had to figure out what does she mean by that? And her being like me, very skeptical of the government and Facebook and all these companies, <laughs> turns out she's, it's not Facebook per se, like the fact that the ads work, it's, I don't like Facebook because they censor people. Uh, I think censorship is a big one for me. Which is why I'm still shadow banned on Instagram. Um, mm. You mean like during COVID censorship? Yeah, this could become like a, a very different conversation than we probably have time for, but you know, no, no, tell me everything you want to know. like, no, <laughs> I want to have that conversation. <laughs> I do to use whatever it is that I need to use to get people to realize that I'm out there and what I'm doing so that I can get some client leads yeah. that I'm willing to do it. But, um, yeah, there's the good thing is there's like, I mean, it's a tool at the end of the day. I mean, yeah. it's not the best tool. It's not the worst. There's Google, there's YouTube, other options, right. But really it's just like, cracking the code of the marketing pieces is like the next step to scale this thing, right? Yeah. So I just kind of wanted to dip it. I couldn't refuse this offer. I, I do use Alex Hormozy's books as well. And I was like, wow, this has all the elements that Alex Hormozy was talking about. Like you're practically giving away the first step and then, you know, it leads into something bigger. So I, I'm, I've been yeah. doing a bit of research and homework on it. I, I get, I get it. And I need a little help with it as well. Bingo. Yes. I was, about, I, I was going to ask, well, hey, do you want help with this? But hey, she preempted it. So guess what? Time to go right into the pitch. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you want me to walk you through like what some of our other services look like in terms of helping people get, give you more support and, you know, grow this thing faster? Yeah. I'd love to see what the options are. Like, hallelujah. Yeah. So hallelujah. We have a few. So we have like, uh, like a, a business accelerator. This is, it's kind of, I think of it like taking, like going from like idea to launch with marketing. Mm -hmm. That's like four months. It's our smallest kind of program. Okay. And then there's all the way up to it. Like our, our biggest thing is like a done for you. It's like an agency where we just do everything. That's really expensive. <laughs> yeah. Put it bluntly. Um, that's like a 15 K per month. Usually people are doing like seven figures in their 
So what am I doing? What am I doing? Hey, our biggest thing is 15K per month, 180K per year. Comment in the chat, what is Ben doing at this point? I'm going to pause and let you comment. Use your brain. Pretty simple. All right, I'm just going to tell you. I'm price anchoring. 180K, big thing. Like, whoa, I can't afford 180K. That's crazy. That's right. But that's why we have coaching, where it's like you get access to the same team, but for a fraction of the price, and we just help you implement it. We're not doing it for you, but... It's like the next best thing. You're you're learning the skill set. The one thing that Alex Ramosi is all about building up those skills to uh, get you across that bridge to that million dollar business. Since before they do that, um, we have the mastermind, which is like when someone has gotten their idea launched and they're making money. That's really taking it to the next level. That's a whole year where we work together with people. Um, that's like a lot of it's focusing on just really scaling the marketing, really bringing in a team to help you with the various parts of it. So uh, it could be sales, it could be operations, it could be hiring coaches, it could be tech, running the marketing, all that stuff. But I, I think in this case, um, I would say the business accelerator would make a lot of sense because that's like the foundational pieces. Mm -hmm. We work with you one-on-one -on -one for four months. Every week we're meeting to, to here, I'll, let me just share my screen, I'll show you. Okay. So. This is, uh, this is the page of it. So we meet like four months, one-on-one. -on -one, so you get a one-on-one -on -one coach and, and, and they help you kind of map out a game plan. So how do we take this thing from not bringing in leads with marketing to bringing in leads with marketing? First of all, this is just like a sample curriculum, but we can figure out, first of all, like what, what's the winning offer out of all the things you could be selling, right? And then mapping up the funnels. How are we going to get people into your, uh, your calendar, booking a call? How can we upsell them or downsell them your supplements? Um, how do we set up the, the ads, whether it's on Facebook or Google or YouTube, we kind of help people with both depending on their niche. Um, some people like, typically you would start off spending like 20 to 30 bucks a day on ads just to see what's working. Mm -hmm. but eventually you might get to the point where, you know, you're just really spending thousands per day. Like the people get there, right? which is the goal, but we want to start small. Um, and then there's all the other pieces, like how do you, how do you do your email marketing? How do you set up affiliates? If that's something you want to do, um, it's just think of it just like getting everything ready to get you to a point where you can really start blowing up this business and, and scaling things up and getting you to the point where you're making good money and you're able to hire, you know, other functional members and people to just take this thing to the next level. That's, that's what we'll be working on with you over the next four months. Okay. Um, does that sound like any questions about that or? The, the one-on-one -on -one meetings are every week. Yeah. And are they, how long are the meetings? Um, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. Okay. So we also do group meetings. So um, just on these topics here, Monday Mondays is with Rudy himself. So you can hop on there and, you know, ask him questions. You know, he's, um, he's super well connected and he's like a genius at marketing. So it helps us to be able to talk to him. If you have any tech questions, we have meetings on Tuesday about that. Uh, marketing is general. We can talk about copywriting. We can talk about really anything. Um, Facebook Fridays is all about um, Facebook ads. We have our, our media buyers on there. Okay. Um, this is just a bunch of other stuff that you kind of get, which is which is cool. If if you like Florida, <laughs> you can uh, you can come to one of our live events, which we do a couple times a year. Um, and so the, like the really the big thing with this program is that we like. Our idea is to help people go from, we have like different levels. We have four different programs in total. And it's like, we want people to ascend. So our, our goal is to help you make more money than you pay us, right? So, and so one thing you gotta do if you have multiple programs is pre-frame the next program. You know, hey, this isn't just like a one and done thing, but we want, you, we want you to win so you can get to this bigger program so that you can get to this bigger program so that you can get to this really big program because you win, we win, and everyone's happy. Right. A lot of you guys are just selling like a one-off program. You're not pre-framing the future with you. So I like to do that on the sales call and on the onboarding. I like to have this mapped out so that you can move clients up. Right. And it's not a big surprise. They know from day one, this is only like the first it's, this is like the appetizer for your business. We, 
we have a, like a, a revenue warranty. So it's like people, hey. if they don't, if you don't at least make your money back working with us, we just, I hit her with a little best case, worst case here, you do the difference. So worst case, you, you do everything and you make $0 and you get your money back. Best case, you get a system that's up and running and your marketing is working and everything's awesome and you're making a whole bunch of money and you're like, woohoo, this is the best. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, how's <laughs> it sounding so far? Of course, I want to know what the investment is, but it sounds good so far. Yeah. Well, it's not 17K. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's great. That was, that they did the clinical side of the program as well with that. It wasn't all for marketing. It was like 50-50, but done as a program like this, this is very similar to how I do my work. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, so the investment for this one, Business Accelerator, for the four months, it's 5K. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's, I think I covered the big, big pieces of it. It's exactly the same. It's a 16 week program for $5,000. <laughs> Funny how that works. Yeah. And so. All right. Pretty similar. Yeah. So the cool thing is you need, you get one client, boom, paid it off. Well, that's the thing. Price justification. Boom. Easy. I, I don't. That's called a chunk down. Okay. Chunk down. Look, you only need one client to pay this off. You only need three clients to pay off it. You know, like if you sell an ROI thing, just say, is it is it totally unreasonable that if you had help for the next four months, you wouldn't land at least one more client? No, that's crazy. Like you're already doing it, right? But imagine having the support of a world-class team, someone who's really great at marketing, who's done this before. What do you think you could, I, I don't say this, but you could also chunk up. I mean, what if you got four more clients per month? That's 20K per month extra, 240K per year, right? Is that reasonable? I don't know. That's chunking up. I actually feel like I really have that much of a choice right now. I mean, I just don't want to keep plugging away on my own. It's going to take, I'm spending a lot of time on backend tech stuff and things that are just completely foreign to me. Um, yeah. And it's a waste of time for me. I really want to be spending my time working on talking to clients and helping them get better. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, the tech stuff is my nightmare. So, so the it's videos. Fun. It's fucking true. I hate tech. Oh, sorry. What? I had tried for ages to set up the back end of Facebook and I really wasn't able to. And the videos that came with this training last night, I did it and I felt like as proud as I was when I had my children. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, I know what you're saying. Um, <laughs> I had a business before and I would just always hire people to do the tech stuff. I'm like, I can't be bothered. It, it's, it's like the bane of my existence. I, I like coaching and stuff, but setting up funnels and websites and integrations and stuff is like my nightmare. It's my personal health. So yeah, the nice thing with this is like, you can literally just hop on, you can book a call with, um, or I can show you like it's kind of like the members area. If it works for some reason. So are you saying if I don't make the 5,000 back, how do you guys track that? Yeah. So if, if you make, let's say 4,000, I mean, I guess it's part of the honor system, right? So like if you make 4,000 bucks, we refund you the difference. Um, but the coach is going to be tracking checking in with you every week. Hey, how's it going? How are we at for leads, sales? So that's kind of on them. Does that make sense? Yep. And so uh, just to show you this, inside the members area here, you can um, you can book any specific calls. Like if you're like trying to get something tech related set up, you can just schedule a tech call here. Or you want to talk to a copywriter, there's a copywriter call you can schedule here or Facebook ads. Um, but I book those one week at a time. That's not something that I just do any time. I feel like it. Well, when you talk to the coach, you're like, oh, I'm struggling with this thing. And they'll just be like, oh, okay, just book this tech call. So it's not like you're limited if that's what you, if that's what you need. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to do it. Awesome. Cool. Um, <laughs> I'm like, close everyone. Get <laughs> I'm raised like, right, right now. I don't see what I would wait for. My, my alarm just. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> okay, this call was like not the hardest one to close, but hey, oh, my freaking AirPods went to my phone. What's that? Okay. So, what did you say? Yeah, I'm ready to go ahead. Awesome. Okay, let me. Uh... Here, I'll drop the the payment link in the chat, and we will get you onboarded. Um, right I'm away. Gonna grab my credit card while you do that. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother.
Bomba Clark. Okay. Is this where you want me to put the information? I uh, I want I'll show you guys where I, I asked the question. I'm going to skip through all the COVID talk. We 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 end up talking about COVID for the next eight minutes. Let's see, I click on that and then fill everything out separately. Yeah. All right, I'm just. Yeah, I mean it's it's the uh, that was just like depressed. I'm like, no, it's like you two will have a either Bilal or, or my team will be reaching out short. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome. Well, what are you most excited about? Hey, look at it. I am. I, I, it's funny. I was thinking like, this is exactly how my clients feel when they sign on with me is like the same price point and everything. It just seemed really meant to be, but I'm most excited about just seeing, you know, how this is going to change my business, how many more people I can reach, what I can do with my, I love my e-store. I really want to see what I could do with that e-store. There are people that just do that only as their source of income for themselves. And it would be so nice to have that passive income. I'm excited to see what kind yeah. of life I can live with true financial freedom. Like I don't own a house right now and I've made good money as an anesthetist, but you know, now it's all on me. So I, re I really want to see what I'm capable of. I've done some cool stuff before in my life and I really just want this to be like my best project ever. It's funny because I was, uh, I spent the weekend doing objection training for people, for clients, going through a lot of objection handling training. And I was totally ready to just like start chopping through objections, but she was just ready. So sometimes that happens, you know? Yeah. Well, I'm uh, I'm excited to see how, how it turns out. And I didn't ask you the second question. Why'd you do this now? Because I'm, I pushed out, but you know what? Whatever. That's the end of the call, right? You know, 50 seconds left of just blabbing. Anyway, hopefully you learned something from this call. Shout out to Liz. She's a true fucking G. Um, and yeah, 501. All right, time for me to hit the gym. If you learned something, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. Comment below. <laughs> Subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. By the way, I'll, I have a playlist of sales call reviews. I'll put it somewhere. Go check those out. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.